Yeah, we'll just we'll, we'll make it easy. We'll take two from each. Ah, oh, from that easy. Right. C D, C D, C D and C D. That's the joke. C D for all of them. C D. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The last one. Hmm? The last one. The last one, what about it? The number four. Yeah? C D. Yeah, CD. Yeah. It's not so bad. Really? It's not so bad. <laughs> so, CD from each of them. I just like the last time I got stuck with this question 7. Yes, we'll do them in the tutorial on Monday. Uh, yes? I know, I, uh, I need to think of the number so that it does have an answer. I can't just make it random. So you'll have to check later in the class when I have to think about it, okay? Uh, right. Uh, so this next worksheet is actually pretty easy, but there it's important to practice. It's useful for the exam. Let's have a look. Okay, um, factorizing. So, let me just explain the verb here. Factor uh, is a verb, and this is what factor means. So, for example, if I say factor... Um, what's wrong with you? <laughs> uh, if I say something like factor, factorize this, well, actually... Factor out x. That means to take x out like this. Yeah. And then if I said factorize, um, I don't know. Make a find the of x. No, no. Factorize means. And this example here is the same thing, so I need to think of an example that's a bit different. Uh, yeah, if I said something like this, you can actually write that like this. And these are called the factors. So factor is a noun. So we have factor is the noun, factor out or factorize, they're the verbs. A little bit more vocabulary now. No, I don't want you to. It's in skill you must learn. This is called a quadratic equation. That's called a quadratic equation. What was the name of the last equation we did? The mx plus c? Linear. Linear. Okay. You got can I go down? Yeah. There you go. Anyway. A is not equal to z. Yeah, because then if a yeah, if a is equal to zero, then what type is it? If A is zero, what is it? Linear. It's linear if A is zero. So that's why I said A is not zero. Okay. Scrolling now. Okay. Um second. Oh come on.
definitely time for a new laptop. Did you check the... I lost it. You need to give it to me again. No, not now, not now, later. Oh. Right, so I'm just going to give you a bit more vocabulary. So we have factor, and then the opposite of factor. Does anyone know the word that means the opposite of factor? Uh, expand. Expand is the opposite of factor. Factorize. There we go. Okay. So like for example, if you have x plus 1, multiply x plus 2, this uh, you know how to do this. You do x times x and then x times 2. And then we do 1 times x and 1 times 2. So what do I get? x squared 3x plus 2. So if I have x plus 1 x plus 2 and I change that into x squared plus 3x plus 2 the verb is expand now now come on focus now or I will kick you out uh, I invite you to try me sometimes because I'm not joking um, okay, so expand this that way, and then if I go backwards here, so if I start here and go back to these, these are the factors, this is factorizing. So you know how to expand, but maybe what's a little bit more difficult is going backwards, factorizing. So we'll look at some examples of that. There's one, you know, like a logic one where you take two numbers that... Oh yeah, that's what we're going to do. I know the one you're talking about. Yeah. Can I scroll down? Mm -hmm. Yes? Okay. So, for example, if I want to factorize x squared plus 11x plus 30, this is what you do. You write down two brackets like this, an x and an x, and you're looking for two numbers, here and here, and you want these numbers to multiply to make 30, and add to make 11. So what two numbers multiply to make 30 and add to make 11? 6 and 5. Let's check our answer as well to make sure. So I do x by x, that's x squared, x by 5, 5x, 6 by x is 6x, 6 by 5 is 30, so that's 5x squared plus 11x plus 30. What? Well, yeah, why did I say that? That ain't good. Uh, x squared plus, I'm hungry, 11x plus 30. Is that right? Yeah. It is. So this is good. So this is the answer. But that one could be one more Huh? Oh yes, no, they get more difficult. Okay, so let's make it more difficult now. Let's look at another one. You don't need to check your answer. I'm just checking it to show you how you could check. Next example? Yep. Okay, let's make it a bit more difficult. So let's try to factorize x squared minus 2x minus 35. So, what makes this one a little bit more difficult is now we need two numbers. Two numbers that multiply 
to make minus 35 and two numbers that add to make minus 2. So now it's a little bit more difficult because of the minus, but it's still the same idea. So uh, maybe minus 7 and plus 5. So if I have minus 7 and plus 5, when I multiply them, I do get that. And when I add them, I get that. Okay. Now, the problem with this is, there's no way for me to teach you how to think. You know, you just need to think about it. You need to think about the numbers that can do this. So this is the problem when you use your calculator too much. When you use your calculator too much, it destroys your brain. And then you can't think anymore. Okay? So this is a thinking exercise. There's one more. You, you can, uh, you know, you can make the root. Yeah, this will come in time. Don't rush it. You know, the the cross will get very difficult, and towards the end, you'll be wanting me to slow down. So don't rush things. And okay, so that's the two there. Let's now make uh, a little bit more difficult again. So we'll increase the difficulty. I can scroll down? No. Okay, so now, factorize 15x squared plus 38x plus 24. Now these ones are more difficult because there's now a 15x squared. So there's a number in front of the x as well. So these factors look like this. We have an x, we have an x, but they have numbers in the front. Yeah. They're not just x and x, they could be like 5x or 15x or whatever. Okay, so there's a number here, and there's a number here, and there's a number here, and there's a number here. So, this time, uh, in the red, we want numbers here that multiply to make 15. And then in the blue, we want numbers here that multiply to make 24. But the difficult part here is that uh, when you multiply these numbers, and then multiply these numbers, and add them together, you want to make 38. Yet all. Yeah. You multiply these two. Mm -hmm. You multiply these two and add them together and you want 38. So what I'll do is I'll put in some numbers that won't work and we'll see why they won't work. Okay? So Fahad, give me two numbers that multiply to make 15. Five and three. Five and three. So that goes in red. Actually, let me put it in red to make it clearer. But that can be wrong. Too. No, I want it to be wrong. Okay? I don't want it right yet. Two numbers that make 24. Six and four. So we'll put six and four on the next two. Okay, so uh, six and four. Where's my pen down here? It is six and four. Now, is this right? Do they make 38 in the middle? No. Oh wait, they do. No, they don't. Uh, 6 multiplied 3? 18. 18. 5 multiplied 4? 20 and 18? 38. Oops, we got the right answer by accident. Okay. Um, so I was hoping we get the wrong answer and then we have to try different numbers. But looking else, we got the right answer. So it makes it look easier than it is. But if we got the wrong answer, then we'd have to try different possibilities. Uh, so what is another possibility for 15? Give me two numbers that would make 15. One, 15. One and 15. Mm -hmm. Or another possibility for 24. Yeah, something else maybe. Two and 12. Also, yeah, but also five and three or three and five. 
6 and 4 or 4 and 6. Okay? So you might have to guess for a while before you get to it, okay? Or sometimes you get lucky and it's the first one. Yeah. Okay? Um, okay, we'll do another example now with this, a more difficult one, with a minus in it. Oh, I should also write in, I didn't write it in, I should write in the pluses here as well. Let's check the answer actually. 5x plus 6 times 3x plus 4. Okay, so 5x multiplied 3x, 15x squared, 5x by 4, 20x, 6 by 3x, 18x, 6 by 4, 24, so this is 15x squared plus 38x plus 24, so yes, we are good. Okay. Can I scroll down? Yes. Yep. Yes? No? No. No. Next example. Let's factorize this one. 12x squared minus 11x minus 15. Right. X, x. So I want two numbers, and these need to multiply to make 12 and then I want two numbers here and they need to multiply to make minus 15 and finally when I multiply my inner numbers and when I multiply my outer numbers they should add together to make minus 11 Right. Hang it. Give me two numbers that make 12. Um, three, and four. 3 and 4. Okay. Let's see what happens. And then... Uh, give me two numbers that make minus 15. Three and five, but you have to put minus on one of them, so which one do you want to make the minus? Does it matter? Minus three. Minus three. Okay, so we'll make minus three and plus five. Let's see if this is right. Minus three plus five. So let's check the inner and the outer. Minus three and uh, multiply four. Uh, minus twelve. Yeah? 5 multiplied 3, 15. 15 minus 12? No. 3. And what do we need? Minus 11. So this combination is no good. So let's try something else. So uh, I feel like I think 3 and 4 is probably right here. Uh, the 15, wait a second, uh, 15, 3 and 5, isn't it? Yeah. 3, 12, 5, no. 3, no, 3 and 4 doesn't make 15. Is that what we had a moment ago? Hang on, what did we have a moment ago? We had 3 and 4. We had 3 and 5, didn't we? Okay, good. 
panic there. Right, three and five, uh, do we want to keep those down, make it 12 and a 15? Tw uh, I think five and, five and three actually. Yeah, five, and three. five and three, because I can put five here and three here, but I have to put minus on one of them, minus, uh, minus five. five. Yeah. yeah, because this will make minus 20, mm -hmm. and this will be plus nine, yeah. and together that makes nine. minus 11. Mm -hmm. So this is it. Yeah. So, you know, it's really just thinking about it, trying different numbers. Um, I knew not to try 12 and 1 and 15 and 1 because 12 and 1 and 15 and 1, those will make big numbers. And I don't really want big numbers, I kind of want small numbers, 12, 11, 15. You know, because if you have 12 and 1 and 15 and 1, uh, I don't think that would work. Uh, excuse me, yeah, uh, the minus, is it uh, the 5 or the 3 number, right? No, I'll agree with the 5. If you put it with the 3, you get the wrong answer. Because look what happens if you put it with the 3. 5 times 4 is what? 20. 3 times minus 3? Minus 9. 20 minus 9? Yeah, positive 11. And we want negative 11. So the minus, uh, it doesn't matter where it goes. It needs to be on the 5. Okay. Yeah? 3x minus 5. No, 3x minus 5. 3x minus 5. 4x okay. plus 3. Is the answer here. So we have 3x minus 5, and then we have 4x plus 3 is our answer. Okay, so uh, the only way to get good at this is by practicing, practicing many of them. So let me give you some homework questions. You can make your name. I can't make it today, can I play? But I think I actually need to give you more than my name. <laughs> You know this word? Yeah. Oh, good. Uh, it is a verb and a noun. It's a verb and a noun. Which word? Practice. Practice. Practice is a verb and a noun. P O R O C. I don't think there's any all word practice. Who practices? Yes. Uh, okay. Fahad. Uh, Pick a number between 1 and 20. Yeah. Too small. <laughs> you pick a number. 19. 19 questions is a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> let's see. Um, I think... I need three from each. Uh -huh. Three from each. Uh, so we'll say... The last three from each. So like... B, W, X, W, X, Y, X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z. The last three in each. Twelve questions. And they won't take you that long. Like, they should only take you twelve minutes, I think. More than that. No, because the first ones will take less than one minute. They'll only take, like, maybe... 30 seconds. Yeah. Which one, The last three from each. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's the other homework that will take more time. When's our next class? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Um, what, 10 o'clock? Yeah. yeah. And then on Friday, do you have class? I think so. I'm not sure. Let me have a look. No class on Friday, and it's two classes tomorrow, is it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, two classes tomorrow. Two classes tomorrow. Two classes on Friday. There's no class on Friday. There's no class on Friday. 
Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. so I, we don't have physics mm -hmm. till Friday. Yeah. Oh, good, okay. So you don't need your physics homework for tomorrow. Okay, so you'll be okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so there's a few minutes left still. So what you can do is you can start on your homework now, okay? Mm -hmm. um, and actually, I need to check the homework for the people who were lost at the start, okay? So that's you four, isn't it? You came in a bit late. Oh, and you too, yes. So I just want to check your homework for maths. 